The EU has made cross-border trade in Northern Ireland more difficult than necessary by not giving mutual recognition to Britain on sanitary and phytosanitary SPS, measures, a move which is not only absurd but political, a trade expert has said in an exclusive interview with. On Monday, Britain rejected the European Commission's proposals for solutions to ease trade friction between Northern Ireland and mainland Britain. The two papers, which had previously been shared with the UK as well as EU countries, included proposals covering medicines as well as food safety checks, also known by the technical term sanitary and phytosanitary measures, SPS, and the movement of assistance dogs for disabled people. A UK spokesperson said the papers did not address all the problems and called for comprehensive and durable solutions. Last week, Prime Minister Boris Johnson said the post-Brexit Northern Ireland Protocol has created an unsustainable situation and called for a renegotiation, an appeal that European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen immediately rejected. Some of the EU proposals include the easement of movement of assistance dogs accompanying persons travelling from Great Britain to Northern Ireland, as well as to simplify the movement of livestock between both parts, according to the Commission. The document also seeks to clarify the rules on EU origin animal products that are moved to Great Britain for storage before being shipped to Northern Ireland. The UK spokesperson commented on the paper, saying, what the EU is presenting as a package of solutions is in fact only a small subset of the many difficulties caused by the way the protocol is operating. We need comprehensive and durable solutions if we are to avoid further disruption to everyday lives in Northern Ireland, as we have set out in our command paper. As tensions are set to rise in the incoming weeks and disruption in Northern Ireland continues, an interview with Prime Minister Johnson's trade advisor, Shankar Singham, has resurfaced, in which he suggested the majority of the delays and chaos is due to Brussels refusing to do a mutual recognition agreement with London. As it stands, New Zealand appears to have a closer relationship on SPS measures with the EU than Britain, with an agreement that limits checks and simplifies paperwork. Mr Singham, the CEO of economic consultancy firm Competair, told Express.co.uk earlier this year, New Zealand and the EU have a veterinary agreement on meat products, which is actually a very good agreement. It is a mutual recognition agreement of underlying product regulation.